this presentation. Um, we're just going to jump right into this. So I'm going to give um, out two of these. And in pairs, I want you to turn to each other and talk about what you see. What's going on in these pictures? What's happening? Who are these people? Where are they? Don't look at me, look at the picture. So, talk to each other about what's going on. Okay. Um, so there's some there's So why don't you share a few things that you saw in this picture? Okay, we saw um, like this this passport or a missing person kind of thing. We think like this man in the hat is looking for this person. He's like showing the lady the, the picture. Okay, that's true. That's what we said. Yeah. Well, we also noticed this like candle. Do you see that? Kind of a so you went this picture, this picture, like this way, or you just sort of understood that they were all related. Is there is there a time sequence here? I guess I looked at the whole thing at one time. Okay, yeah. I think I looked at it the way I look at English text and read it from left to right. Okay, you did left to right, top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we do. What about what about you in the back? So you're right. Right. Yeah, I did the same. Okay, so the other question is, how did you know how to do that? How did, you know, how did you decide? Like, Bridget, you said you just looked kind of the whole thing, decided that Becky and, and you two in the back read it sort of this way. How did you make those decisions for yourself? Was it a natural sort of conscious thought process? I think it was subconscious, just from, you know, that's what I've been conditioned to take in a text. Okay, okay. And it's interesting that you call this a text because this is completely visual based. All right, so that's like a little bit of an activity that I would give students to talk about visual-based texts. And then the next thing that we are going to do um, is add some dialogue. So I'm going to give you different pages from the same book. I want each of you to choose a character. It's, it's pairs on each. And I want you to think of what they might be saying. And we're going to come up here and perform the, the dialogue that you're getting. And then we'll talk a little bit about how you did that and what that means your understanding of the language associated with 